I don't know. I gotta play some of guys. I haven't actually had the... I haven't actually had the chance to yet. It came out while I was in Portland. And now I'm prepping to go back to Portland, so... Um... Yeah, not a lot of leeway for me to record it, at least not between everything else. It's also like a very lengthy, reedy kind of game, which is like a little tougher for me. Because fantastic games to immerse yourself in, New horrible for a YouTube unlocked. series. Oh, there's a mod that lets you start without losing progress. Okay. Well, you sold me on it. Not like it took too much time or effort. Um, I'll probably give it a go if I can. Otherwise, we might have to wait for a sale. But I would like to play it. Like, I like permadeath in games like, uh, like Nova Drift. Nova Drift, Binding of Isaac, FTL. Like, those are games where the permadeath actually works really well for the game, because, yeah, like, who cares? You died, you lost, start over, move on. You know, it, each run at max takes, like, an hour tops. Um, I have trouble with games like this, for example, with the permadeath. It, it doesn't feel... necessary? Like... Uh, like this game, like Ultisim, like, okay, I died, let me go back, you know, some amount of time, so I don't have to start over. Because, like, yeah, okay, you learn the tricks so you don't get wrecked, but at the same time, like, I don't want to have to start over to actually apply those tricks. I don't want to have to play through another ten hours of gameplay just to get back to where I was. Um, and so, yeah, the more arcade a game is, the more it works as a roguelike. The... The less arcadey it is, the more frustrating it gets. Um, and so that's where, like, meta progression and stuff works really well in some roguelikes. Um, easy, lazy example. Is, uh, Mother Gunship. Mother Gunship is a fantastic game. That guy has a grenade launcher. Cripes. I don't get anything from him, it looks like. Yeah, just biomass. Uh, but Mother Gunship is kind of technically a roguelike. Did we get it? Damn it. One more round. Um, but it's like, okay, you die in Mother Gunship. You just go back. You might have to go, like, refarm for your guns, but that's about it. Um. But like I'm not I'm not too interested in a game where it's just like I don't know, what's it what's an easy example of a game where like starting over from the beginning just wouldn't be fun? Um I here's one. Divinity Original Sin, full party white wipe, you have to start over from the the beginning of the game. You don't get to bring anything with you. You don't get to... Come on, give me this last pistol bit. Ah. Um. You don't get to bring anything with you apart from your own knowledge and so on and so forth. You get back to this... You get back to the section with the, uh, the thing that killed you. And... You're like, okay. Let's try that again. Oh, never mind. Okay, there it is. Uh, you get back to it and it's like, oh, I kind of understand this. And then you die because, you know, it's still really hard. And then you start over again. And it's just like, I... That's not pleasant. Um, or fun. Because, like, it was frustrating throwing my face at the gumball machine, for example, in, in Tower of Guns. Because, you know, it was like a 40-minute run, and then you get there. But, like, that was a 40-minute run. That was an episode for YouTube. New materials have been refined. If I was putting up a series where every single time... I mean, Dark Souls, for example. I... Say I get killed by Nido. 
you know, okay, I learned some tricks so I can get to Nido faster, but you guys are still going to have to see the beginning of Dark Souls over and over and over again. Uh, you know, the Asylum and whatnot. And I, that works with speedrunners, but it's, it's not... I hope that's not something people really want to watch. Have been refined. I certainly don't think people would be that... Uh... I don't think it would be that ex uh, exciting for most people to watch, you know, the beginning of the game, the first couple bosses, blah, 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 you know, maybe a little bit of procedural generation, keep it interesting. Um, and that's kind of where I am with, like, this game, for example. It's like, well, it's a neat game, but... Uh, oh, there's a lot of platinum Harvester here. We need set. technically all of it, as long as I don't get attacked. Um, New materials have been refined. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Wow. Sequence but like, I don't know. I it kills my interest whenever I have to start a game over from the beginning. Uh, like if I lost, if I lost this game, at this point, it would probably be series over. Yeah, that's a Lobos Junior's uh, challenge run. I'm describing. Oh, absolutely. I have I have seen Lobos Junior do it, and the thing is, like, it works with Lobos Junior. But that's because he plays Dark Souls. He plays exclusively Dark Souls. That is that is his thing. That is his channel. And so, let's see. You have a Tech Two pistol. Can I research it? Yes and no. I need the better workshop. Which means I need uh I need platinum. We need platinum and aluminum. And uh, they're semi hard to come by they're all over the place in this system which is why I'm obstinately sticking around here um, but there we go harvester is full of goodies worms really all right well this works Launch harvester uh so yeah as soon as I have enough platinum I can start researching the higher end tech Luckily, my power shotgun, Three, I think, is a T2 t two, tech or something like that. One, uh, so zero. I should be able to research that. I don't think I can give it to all my crew members, which is unfortunate. Because that would be amazing. New materials have been refined. You think of it as a more unforgiving checkpoint. My problem is, like, I, I don't mind, like, unforgiving checkpoint systems. But if it's, like, 10 plus hours of gameplay, no. No thank you. So, yeah, for this one, save... Is at full strength. Okay, let's see how much damage they do. Yeah, there they are. Are they on the other side of that planet? Yeah. New materials have been refined. Warning. Warning. Prepare for hyperdrive. Force field is at full strength. New materials have been refined. This recharges kind of fast. But like, yeah, for this for this game, just to go back to it, it's like, yeah, if, if I got killed right now and lost the game and had to start over, uh, which is extremely unlikely at this point. Uh, let's see if we can go down. There's a whole bunch of platinum here. Harvester destination set. I'm just gonna pop back and forth between. Worst comes to worst, I just uh, I I just loot these for all they're worth. Actually, I should probably stop after this planet. I think we just got hit just as we're going down. Luckily, time does not pass when we're on the planet, but uh, be miserable if it did. We get back up there, ships covered in pirates. Um. Anyway, but yeah, uh, straight up, if I died at this point, I, it really probably would just kill all interest in me playing this more. Because it's fun starting these things over again and, like, playing from the beginning knowing what you know. But, and yeah, I would get some amount of perks, but it's also one of those where it's like, it would be, you know, the same beginning loop of mine all the plan is to get enough ore so I can actually afford some stuff, get some clues as to where the, uh, the shields are, and then eventually, uh... Um. Some thick jungle. And I know 
I see nothing here. I'm not going to see anything here. It is super dense. Oh, that's just the light. Okay. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't want to see that beginning again. And I don't hope you guys don't either. Well, sort of, ish. I don't know. And that's that's my problem with roguelikes. It's like I love them. Roguelikes are are my bread and butter, but they have to be they have to be built right. Otherwise, it's just like why is this even a roguelike or ro roguelite? What other games? Oh, freaking that! Uh, how many of you guys saw that Away Journey to the Unexpected game that I played the other day? As 100% one materials of those have been refined. games where I'm like, why is this a roguelike? Is at full strength. Yep, we're getting hit. Uh, let's let's just bail. I can come back to these, or I can go elsewhere. Yeah, the table tennis one. Yeah, that one. It's like, it was a neat game, and it would have been kind of a competent dungeon Force crawler. Like, mechanically, it had some stuff Whoa. there. Um, but, yeah, it really shouldn't have been classified as a, as a roguelike. If it was a longer, deeper, more intri intricate experience, I think Ninja I would have been have fine been with it, calling it a uh, roguelike. But, it wasn't. It was, it was shallow, it was short, and there was like, three dungeons. And then you were done. Okay. Are we, no, no, no. We've got we've got one extra platinum hanging out in there. Now, admittedly, I could also get the workshop three with the platinum instead, but I really want to get that shield. Oh, yeah, we've got five in deposit. Oh, come on. So one more platinum and we'd actually be able to get both. And then we wouldn't need any more. All right, screw it. Let's, let's go grab it. New materials have been refined. If we're lucky... Wait, where am I going? If we're lucky, the pirates aren't even following me anyway. Or they are following me, so I can, I can double back on them. Nope, they have immediately given up. It said five and five for a second. Did it? Nope, it's five and four. Well, at the very least, let's get the uh, let's get the space travel shield. Force field is at full strength. Okay, so we are at maximum shield. We cannot get any more. We cannot get any more shields. So hopefully, hopefully this puts us in a position where nothing can board us, and then I can go get that workshop three, and then we can actually start working on some goodies. Oh, I was supposed to go up to this one. Oops. Oh, you can double click. New materials. I don't know. You could double refined. click to to see if there's anything there. New materials have been refined. Well, that's helpful. Job assigned. Oh god damn it. Dismissed. Job assigned. Because of the warp effect, I just took gates off of the tractor room. Well, let's go fix that real quick. Then I'm going to go to bed, because I have packing to do tomorrow. Technically, Job I don't assigned. need gates here, but whatever. Oh. Oh, it's got platinum. I want to say this is the wrong location, though. The one that I was just on. Yeah. 
New materials have been refined. Swear I was at one New of these. New materials have been refined. Oh, you know what? I was probably just on that planet. All right, let's go down. We've got a planet here with the platinum I'm looking for. Resources collected. Okay, because we can go to Zerlu, Zer, Zerlul. That's got platinum. Harvester destination set. And then we're good to go. Three, then I'm two, good to go to bed. Because one, we'll have a workshop three, zero. we'll have a cloning bay two. I'd Watch like to get a cloning bay activity. three, honestly. Um, just so we can maybe get human three or something. Because I'd like to... I'd like to snag a planet. No, it was this planet. I think it was this planet I was on. It just had so many resources that I didn't even add. Okay. Okay. Let's just grab what plat platinum I can grab. Okay. Oh. Uh, right. I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I need to pee. But I want to get this going so that when I'm back, when I'm able to record this again, it'll be... It'll be progress. Because effectively, what I want to do is get human three. Then... Human three, maybe arachnoid three or something like that. Just, you know, effectively genesis a couple of planets with the uh, the requisite people. Unlock what I can, just in case I come back. Because this is one of those games, I, I guess, to counterpoint my thing about, like, you know... If it if it did pull that an annoying thing where it's just like oh, three, two, it's not one, it's not be there while zero. that's going on. Um, if this did pull the annoying thing of just like hey oh jeez I think he almost died. Um, that annoying thing of just like you know you lose. Uh, the counterpoint to me quitting on that is I would come back if they did like a major expansion. This is the kind of game that, like, if they overhauled, like, New planet generation, so it's actually, like, interesting, I count me in. Count me in and a half. That is everything that I'd want from this sort of game. Okay, so defense workshop this three. This is a workshop module. Here, we research and construct weapons and defenses. You can also configure the weapon racks with your favorite selection of weapons. Assign engineers to the workshop in order to speed up research processes. It's huge. I actually don't really want to connect. Holy butts, it's huge. I don't actually want to connect it to the tractor room that much. But I will. Space is at a bit of a premium. I'll just put guns in. New materials I mean, have been refined. I got plenty of things. Let's actually leave harder, because I'm sure the framing are going to come Morning. hug my butt, and I don't want that. We'll just go hang out in empty space, like down here-ish. And I'm gonna go check out that uh, that workshop thing I've been do. Because at the very least, I'd like to I'd like to have that going. You know, because I think we have the tur turret two tech. Okay, that's that's ample enough warning. If they if they show up and start grabbing me or grabbing. Start trying to board me, then I'll just... Oh, no. Alright, this is a big sucker. Why is there... Oh, it's like a mini shuttle. That's cool. New materials have been Alright, so what can we research while we're here? Weapons, laser pistol. So if I want to research it, yes. Laser pistol 2 is uh, absolute. Not exactly. Weapon added. Something I'm going to be using constantly here, but still. Okay. 
I think I have the laser pistol too. Pick up the laser rifle. Okay, good. So we do have a laser pistol too now. Uh, we don't have any weapon samples for laser two. So I've been using the I've been using the power shotgun one. I believe. Yeah, let's research it. It just costs some lithium. We can go get a bunch more lithium on any of the like early planets. Weapon added. And we do have a couple of data, uh, a bit of data for some of the other ones. So we do have the heavy pistol, the iron thrower, the assault rifle. And the rest of these are unknown. Defenses though, turret. Processing. I'm curious if this automatically upgrades all of our turrets. Weapon added. Weapon activated. I'm gonna find out. I have no idea. Can I add it to the rack? Processing. Processing. At least it's just sulfur, which is good. Hey, we got general ballistics too. I'm curious about the starting uh, companies. Unfortunately, it's just like starting over at this point would be slow. Really hoping I could put the turrets back, but whatever. Okay. I'm gonna put that there. That should handle most problems. I'm not gonna get hit very often either. Was nice. Whoa, that was weird. I did not like that. All right, what else do we have? Robots. We only have the Robotnik. It doesn't actually look like we have anything else that we can research here. Well, that's not that exciting, but fine. I don't really need exciting. I just need functional. I just need to survive. I need to beat this game. So next order of business, probably just more grinding, more farming. Uh, we gotta get we gotta get the clone three lab. We gotta get we're done with that. And if I double click on it, we can actually see. Yes, that is so nice. I should have been paying attention this entire time. And this this place would be great to come back to. Um, but I'd like to start getting clone three. Uh, or clone three, I guess. Uh, level three clones. And then maybe we can actually see about doing a Genesis project, because that'd be fun. Uh, I'm gonna slap another one of these down on the bridge. I kind of want to replace all of our garbage tier turrets with the uh, the tier turret twos. Actually, you know what? It might have just automatically upgraded every single one of my turrets. Well, if that's the case, that's nice. <laughs>